back from Great Days by Sarah. And as a mom who's super busy, like all moms, I always don't have time to get to the gym or even dedicate 30 minutes to a workout in my family room. So that's why I created this Tabata workout. It's short, it's sweet, it's four moves, no equipment. Get in, get out, and go about your mom life. Let's get warmed up. We're gonna start in the back of our space. We're gonna inch warm out, bend your knees as much as you need to. Walk your hands out into your space. Find yourself into a plank just for a beat and then walk your hands back in, bending your knees as much as you need to, rolling up slow. Two more just like that. Last one. Roll it up slow and then come down to hands and knees. Cat cow. Arch your way back up, gaze towards the sky, tail towards the ceiling, and round it out. Inhale as you look up, exhale as you go down, then step your left foot forward, find that lunge, we're going to rock back and forth. Half split, lunge, half split, lunge, one more time. Switch sides, lunge it out, pull it back, just getting the body moving. Stand it up in your space, big arm circles back. Our first one's gonna be a squat and forward, and it's just 20 seconds. Here we go. Feet apart, toes facing forward, do this first one nice and slow, just an extension of our warm up. The nice part about this one is we get to switch moves every 30 seconds. Just like that, it's 20. We come down to the mat. We're gonna plank to a press. I'll show you the modification from your knees. We go down to our forearms. Press up to a plank. Changing each time which hand leads. Once again, we're treating this first round as an extension of our warm up. Stand up. Going alternating lunges. First one's going to be backwards. Feet hip distance apart. Step back like you're on a railroad track. You have the range of motion to tap your knee, just make sure you do it lightly. Pause. Our fourth move is just a plank. I'll modify the first round. Shoulders over wrists. Toes can stay tucked under. Pressing through all 10 fingers and check in, pull your belly button to your back. Time, that's one round. We have five total. Now we're gonna pick up the pace. In your squat, hips, feet distance apart. Here we go. It's quicker, you're moving, your goal to get your heart rate up in a short workout. Super efficient. You know what's coming next. Make sure you work all the way through that final beat. That one, come on down. Plank to press, I'll show you the full version this time. Feet, toes up. Lower, full plank. Try one doesn't work for you, more than willing, go back to the modification, no worries. Stand up. Switching it up. Front lunges this time. Go to the back of your space. Big step out. Press back. So a little more core activation. 
as we use our balance to step back and use forward lunges. Use your arms wherever they're helpful. Just keep moving. Play cold. I'm gonna do this one for my forearms and my toes. Join me if you want to, or keep the modification. You got this, focus on your breath. Excellent, that's two rounds. Make sure you're working through that final ding. Not the three, not the two, make it to the one. Here we go. Option here, add a hop. Stepping it up a little more. As you squat, that weight's in your heels. Three. Time. Plank to press. Bring it down. Decide which one you're going to try. There it is. Try to minimize that shift in your hips. You're going to move a little bit. But try to squeeze your glutes and minimize the shift. Stand it up, going back to those reverses. Maybe this time you know where you're going, so pick up the pace. Can you keep a little bend every time you come up? Hold this time I'm going to do for my hands. Shoulders over wrists. My feet I'm going to glue together. Squeeze through my inner thighs. Really straight line from my shoulders to my heels. to hold. And back down to my forearms and my feet. Put my feet together. Heels together. Knees are touching. Pressing through my entire forearm and my ten fingers. Not just my elbow. You have one last round. Sumo with a hop, your option for your challenge this one. Here it is. You get low, just like you did. You hop, it's like a frogger. 
Can you touch the floor in between? My arms are extra long, it's kind of not fair. You got this. So strong. Last time through, plank to press. What do you got? Try the full version, just one. Here it is, plank low, press high, switch arms, press up. Drop your butt a little bit. It's probably sneaking up in the air. Relax it. Option this time, front lunge, back lunge, side lunge, standing in the middle of my space. Side lunge out, together. Side lunge, other way, together. Sitting my hips back every time. Or of course, do the variation that you like the best as we're going through. You got one more left. What kind of plank are you doing today? I'm putting my hands in a triangle, putting my feet together. Squeezing my hips a little bit lower, checking to make sure I have a straight line from those shoulders all the way to my heels. Success. Let's stretch it out. Have a seat on your mat. Grab a sip of water. Let's put your right leg out, left leg in, reach towards the center first, nice and tall. Walk your hands out, maybe even drop your head down. Back up slow, walk it towards your straight leg. Walk your hands back center, reach your left hand up over the top. Find that side bend. You can grab your foot, great, but don't sacrifice the stretch to reach it. Switch it over, other side. Right leg comes in, left leg comes out. Go middle first. Heart towards the floor. Maybe even drop your head. Walk it over towards your straight leg. Then up over the top. Peek up underneath that arm to open your chest a little bit more. Feel a little bit of a bigger stretch. Then come up, stand it up, nice and slow. Grab one foot, same side hand. Quad stretch, send those hips forward, drive those knees towards each other. Switch. Look at you taking time for yourself today. Congratulations. Quick, efficient workouts. Relax it. Nice work today. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. I post every week. I alternate between a strength workout and a yoga workout. I also have a Facebook group for moms called Time Out for Moms, and it's all about self-care, all about making time for you in the best way possible, not to sacrifice much time with your family. Go have a great week. I'll see you soon.